That's it. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Well, um, congrats to the to, to Simon and to Oivin. Um, Oivin uh, said two things that I I would like to comment first. Uh, you said that this part is going to be in English, but not in my case, as, as you will see. Simon speaks English. I, I am going to try to speak something similar to English. That's uh, one point. And the second is uh, you mentioned our families. I am a coach, also a coach. And you touch me when you, when you, you talk about our families. In fact, I am taking a, a photograph because, you know, when I, when I uh, talked to my wife and, and I said uh, her, I, you know, these guys from the Norwich, Norwich Tennis Federation invited me to talk about paddle. He, he didn't believe me, so I am taking a photograph, please. <laughs> I need to prove. Okay, perfect. Now I am more relaxed. Well, um, Pavel, first, uh, this is a, a not so new sport, I used to say. Um, I was reading the, 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 the site, the website of the Tennis Federation here in Norway, and you, you have Pavel. You have battled here for for many years, but um, in in many places around the world, paddle is growing very 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 fast. Uh, I, I first of all thank you, thank you, Oivin, thank you, Frank, and your your staff. Not only uh, because of me but because of paddle. Give paddle a chance is, is a good thing. And first of all, I would like to say thank you. Um, what, what is paddle? You have here many words, and I will show you a couple of videos about different modalities uh, related to paddle. The first word is uh, the word that we use right now to name paddle, this sport, my sport, this sport. But uh, the original word is the second, paddle, with double D. This is the original word. We only Spanishize the word, and we use this word. Okay, the first one. Uh, the, 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 the main, I guess that the main source of paddle is paddle tennis. This is a sport that they play in the USA and our creator, you know that in paddle we have a creator, a, a Mexican guy who created the sport and he used the racket, he took the racket from paddle tennis. Um, and they have another sport there in the USA named platform tennis. Many of you would would heard about about this other sport. Um, these are sources for paddle, for my paddle, for our paddle. Uh, although paddle was created in Mexico, but the, the origins came from the USA. Um, this is our paddle. Many of them, many of you, this is aggressive, but not. This is aggressive, but not. Okay? This is a normal point. You can, yeah. On the World Pile Tour, you can see this kind of point in each game. 
under some circumstances the players could play outside the court. Well, but uh, this is paddle tennis. This is the other sports that they play. They used to play right now, in present times in, in the USA. This is more aggressive. The racket is the same. Okay. They have professional tournaments with this sport. And this is the other, this is platform tennis. Okay. You know that um, related to what Simon was saying about the game-based approach, you know that the rules of the game define the game. That's why when you design some drills, you can change the rules, that you can modify the game to exaggerate some parts of the game in order to practice different parts of the games. And if you compare these sports, you see that in platform tennis, they have uh, lines which are limits for the bounce. They also have a, a perimeter who is valid. The, the, the bounce of the ball in, on the perimeter is valid, so the, the ball is still in play. And they have a, a high serve, like tennis. All these sports share almost the same ball with tennis. The second one, they have lines, so limits or boundaries for the, for the bounce, and low serve. I guess that because of the, uh, the, 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 the uh, because the, the game is aggressive, okay? Uh, but they don't have perimeter. So once the ball is out of the reach of the, the, the player, uh, the, the point is end. So um, that's why it's more aggressive. And this our paddle is similar to platform tennis. Platform tennis is, was created before paddle. And we have a perimeter. Again, the difference is this, this perimeter is 100% uh, a fence, a metallic fence. In paddle is a combination of a metallic fence and walls, glass walls or walls, uh, many materials, many different materials you can build a wall for paddle. The serve is low, like in, in paddle tennis, and the entire field. This is a main difference because the player is standing inside the field, different from the other sports, or different from, from tennis, for example. You can stand outside the, the limits of the, of the field. Here, you cannot. The paddle players are inside the field. But these different words uh, caused a confusion. Right now, we have a confusion about these words. Look, look at this in the USA. Uh, in the USA, um, they play paddle tennis, they play platform tennis, and now they added uh, pickleball and paddle tennis, our paddle tennis, or our paddle. And you know, if you go to the USA and you say, I am going to play paddle, you are going to play platform tennis with the stress in the letter A, paddle. This is how we use the word in Argentina, in Spain, and in many, many other countries. But in the USA, if you say paddle with the stress in the A, you are referring to platform tennis. Meanwhile, the guys from the paddle tennis, the original paddle tennis, 
um, trying to avoid this confusion, decided to change the name. Now, the paddle tennis, they, they, change, the name, they change their name, and, and now they are pop tennis. But if you go to the USA and you want to play paddle, you need to say padel. Because if you in the USA want to a club and you say, look, I want to play paddle, you are going to play platform tennis. If you want to play paddle, our paddle, you have to say padel. This is a mess. OK, well, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is real. I don't know, here in Norway, you say padel or paddle? Paddle tennis. So paddle tennis is the other. Um, at, at the beginning, the, 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 our paddle, the, the name in, in Mexico was paddle tennis Corcuera. Corcuera was that guy who created the sport. In Argentina, at the beginning, at the very beginning, we used to say paddle tennis argentino, Argentinian paddle tennis. These names um, wasn't good, for, in my opinion, and we changed to Padel. But in the USA, no. In the USA, is Padel, and, uh, and the rest of the world is Padel. OK. Well, this is just a curious thing. I will tell you some numbers, because through numbers, I think that is a, a good way to know, to know something about this sport. Paddle was created, uh, was created 60 years ago in Acapulco, Mexico. I am the Mexican guy whose name was Enrique Corcuera. Then I, 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 I first met Paddle 30 years ago in Argentina. From, Me from Mexico, Paddle, uh, a millionaire, took Paddle, the, the idea of Paddle to Marbella. A Spanish girl, a Spanish guy to Marbella in, in Spain, and then another millionaire took the idea to Argentina. Argentina was the first country in which Padel uh, lived a boom in Argentina in the 90s, in the 90s the, approximately. Right now we have 44 countries uh, affiliated to the International Padel Federation, 44. But to be honest, um, many of, the, of these countries have very few courts. It's a, a very little sport in those countries. Many clubs in Madrid, for example, uh, has more courts than some of these countries. In Argentina and Spain, it was said that 4 million players was playing paddle. In Spain, are playing paddle. In Argentina, after the, the, that boom, we suffered a fall. And, well, now paddle is in, in a flat line. Uh, they are playing paddle so much in Argentina, anyway. But this was the, the peak, they say. Argentina and Spain are, have more or less the same population, 45 million. So it's close to 10% of the population playing paddle. In Spain, is the, right now, is the, the second sport. These are federative licenses. I don't know if you, how do you say here the, 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 the license? that fee that the player pay to the, an, annually to the, to the federation. This is the growth. In, from 1994, we had 2,500. And the last year, at the end, we have in Spain 75,000 licenses, only behind football. And you know, that sports that Include some kind of risk like climbing or hunting, 
and they need the license because it's related to, a, to an insurance, okay? But paddle is ahead of these, these other sports. Um, yesterday, I talked to a guy who is the owner of, of this brand of rackets, my sponsor, and I asked them, look, tell me how many rack paddle rackets do you think you, all of you, all the brands are going to sell the next year? And he told me, I don't know. And I, 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 I insisted and he told me, well, estimated for the next year, 4 million rackets. I don't know if this is a big number or, or not, but this is the, the, the estimated number of rackets, of paddle rackets that are going to be sell in, in the next year. Um, this is a, a, a paddle court, a normal paddle court, a, a glass court. And look, we have four players, and this is an interesting point because you know that in many countries, most on the north of Europe, you will see indiv individual courts. Individual courts. Uh, it's okay, but this is not an official modality. The only official under the rule, under the rules or recognized modality is the doubles. This court, which is 10 meters and 20 meters. It's the only. But I, I think that the, the International Federation should consider the other modality of individuals. The, the court is six meter wide, 20 meters long, but only six meter wide. Um, and I think that they also should consider another modality, which is playing individual in the normal court, but cross court. Mm, we can say that paddle, the, the modality, the doubles, the, the only one modality, the official modality, we could say that paddle is a cross-court sport. Of course, you can play down the line. But one of the main aims in paddle is to point to the corner because it's difficult for the opponent. And when it comes to the individual courts, the the, the, the courts that are six meters wide and playing one, one player against one, the, the change is, is dramatically. The, the, the sport changes dramatically. It's a down the line sport. Okay? So, uh, if the International Paddle Federation wants to uh, preserve that idea of down the, down the line, they should play individuals in. Uh, cross court, which is, by the way, one um, common drill to practice, to train players playing down the line. Okay, uh, 20 meters long, 10 meters wide, we have 2,000 square meters, and four players, this is a ratio of 50. Uh, I guess that this is one of the, the main pros of paddle, this ratio. You don't get that ratio of four, peop, four players playing in 200 square meters in, in other sports easily. Um, but many of them could be thinking and making the relation to, to tennis, for example, and say, okay, I can put one court, one paddle court, or two or three paddle courts on one tennis court. Please don't. Don't do that. Because in the, in the, in the side of paddle, if you want to, to build a, a good paddle court, you have to consider this. Under some circumstances, 
it depends on the on the code if you have this space this free space without uh, obstacles there you can play outside you can follow the, the, the ball outside of course this is not for beginners but my advice is not to put the courts together you can you you can you will see many clubs where the the courts are one without any space uh, and the other without any space this is possible but you are um, you are playing paddle in one of the with one of the possibilities you are not allowing the players to get out the court and um, besides i think that uh, i don't like that clubs where you feel uh, claustrophobic one court and another uh, and another court on the side so well this is the the ratio another uh, building Mm, constraint is that the minimum height on the court on all the, the surface of or all the area of the court is six meters for example for the roof or for the, the, the canopy or the, the, the cover of the of the court or the lights but again please don't don't allow to build courts with um, six meter high i would advise at least eight meters high because you know that the love the love is a, an essential part of the game and six meters in my opinion is too low um well another interesting thing in my opinion is this eight of eight out of that 44 members of the international Paddle federation are tennis federations who controls paddle and this from, from these eight there are in my opinion very important countries or federations hmm? norway in the first place okay these are those tennis federation who controls paddle and at the same time are affiliated to the international paddle federation the main countries in paddle are these i would say <coughs> maybe i can commit a mistake but considering the, the 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 amount of players these are the main my opinion okay it's growing faster at the present is growing faster competitions you know that um, in 10 days we'll start the world championship in Qatar and this year the world championship junior was held in Mexico and the European championship in Marbella in, in Spain these are facts from from paddle in general um, the the pro circuit um, the world paddle tour most of the information about paddle is provided by the world paddle tour through the internet that 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 match that i i showed i showed you in on that video is from the world paddle tour um, in the 90s we had a, a very powerful circuit in in argentina then at the end of the century many players moved to spain because of the money following the money and then we, we had a, a very good circuit ruled by the federation but on 2006 some organizers uh, decided to create a private a private circuit named paddle pro tour then in some years 
later, one of these organizers and one main sponsor, a beer, decided to create another pro circuit. These days, the, the only one, this is a kind of, of a monopoly, but they rule the, the pro circuit, the World Paddle Tour. Okay, price money, just as an information. Uh, in, in the World Paddle Tour, you, you have, we have uh, three kinds of tournaments, challengers, opens, and master. Master is the, the most important and the big price, which has a big, big price money. Look, this is not an example of equality, as you may see, okay? Uh, my friend Google told me this in order to compare. And this is the winning couple earn this money, male and female. Of course, it's doubles and each player would earn this money. Okay, this is a comparison. Um, anyway, on that, on, on, on this side, I used to say that the arrow is pointing upwards in the female world of paddle. This is, I know that this is ugly, this comparison, but this is rising, in my opinion. I hope that this is going to be better in the near future. Well, this is um, a brochure from the World Pile 2. They gave me this. This is the last year, considering the pandemic. Considering the pandemic, these are the final numbers of Padel. So the, the Department of Communication in the World Pile Tour works very well, very well. And that's why these numbers, this is, I guess, very impressive. Five million visualizations during this. <laughs> Estrella Dam is the brand of that beer. And this is the naming of the, of the circuit. Five million only in the master final. This is a, a good number. Then this is another, <coughs> another interesting thing. You know that the, the interest of many broadcasters is gaining power. And look at this. In my opinion, this is the most important. Um, they publish this number, 95% practice the sport and are fans. These are uh, a research that they made on the social media. So we could say 95% of the followers of the circuit through the media are players, are players, okay? This for me, it's a main value. Why? Because in my opinion, <coughs> in my humble opinion, paddle is not a sport to be watched. Of course, I used to watch, uh, because I need, I am a coach, a paddle coach, and I need to watch paddle matches through the internet or the TV. But in my opinion, paddle is a sport to be played, not to be watched. We have many sports that we, we, sat on the, we sit on the sofa and we, we are consuming the sport through the TV, but we are not playing that sport. In my opinion, paddle is the other way around. If you want to promote paddle, you don't have to make videos or brochures <laughs> or dossiers or you only have to put a racket on the hand of the people, give them a couple of balls and put them, get them inside the court and that's it. You don't have to talk, you don't have to, to, to say anything about the rules. Let the people play. Uh, 
So, in my opinion, paddle is a sport to be played, not to be watched. It's a play to feel, to feel the sensation and the, it's, it's a very easy sport. Uh, it's a racket sport, but it's a very easy sport being a racket sport. Racket sports are not that easy in general. I used to say that paddle is like a virus. I know this is not, these are not good times to talk about virus and illnesses, okay? But I used to say this because you just have to inoculate paddle to the people and then forget about it. The paddle will spread. Mm, this is my, my idea. So for me, it's very important to have courts, rackets, and balls. We need, of course, we need a four, uh, uh, another, another element. I will talk about this. We need another element. But for, to start with, this is the, the concept, in my opinion, about paddle. If, if we need to develop paddle, uh, I have, I've been told when I was a player, then when I was a coach, I used to, to heard about, well, Martin, we need to develop the sport, to develop paddle, we need money, okay? Money from sponsors, money from the players who pay their fees, or money from the government. I worked in a federation also, and the government is very important. And then they say, they used to say, money and television. Well, I'm a little bit old. Right now, we don't talk about television, but the social media, internet, and well, but on my ears, we used to talk about uh, television. And that's it. And that's it. Especially the organizers and those related to marketing used to say, we need these two things to develop Paddle. Okay. But I, I don't agree with this because, in my opinion, we need two more things which are, for me, essential. One is time. It's time. It's time. We don't have to hurry paddle. You know that in Argentina, um, those four million players, we get those, that, that four million in only five years. Five years. But then, it was a disaster. It was... We, 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 we couldn't control that boom. And then uh, you, you, you had one club and very close another club and very close another club. This is not... Uh, I, I, I like a word that Oyvind used. We, we didn't have a framework, a framework for paddle in Argentina. In Spain, we did have a framework, and the result is a, a, a growth more healthy. The, the Spanish people could control that boom, and they reached that four million, but more or less in 20 years, more or less. And this is a main factor. I used to, 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 to hear people saying, look, we are now similar to tennis. This is impossible. I impossible. Paddle needs a century to compare to tennis, in my opinion. We need many things that you, you already have in tennis. So we need time. And the fourth element, which is, in my opinion, 
essential is education. So that's why I, I have to say thank you to, to OIBIN and the Federation because education is a main factor in the development of the sport. And that's why the fourth element, the, 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 the fourth element is the coach, the coach. I, I mentioned the rackets, the court, the balls, and the coach. Of course, the framework, the federation, but if you want to grow paddle, you have to educate your coaches. And that's it. The paddle, paddle is like a virus. Well, uh, that's why uh, this is another nice name nowadays, eh? PCR. This is, a, this is not the test. You know that um, this year, I, I was in, in Argentina, I was a, a, a certified tennis coach, certified by the PTR. You know the PTR. Oivin was, was mentioning Dennis van der Meer. And uh, a couple of years ago, the guys from the PTR realized that pickleball was growing very fast in the USA. And they, have, they had the framework. They used to know how to educate coaches. So they start uh, the pickleball re professional registry. PP, uh, Professional Pickleball Registry, PPR, PTR, PPR. Then they realized that platform tennis was also growing. So they created the PPTR, Professional Platform Tennis Registry. And then this year they, they called me and they say, Martin, we are going to start with Padel. And I say, what is padel? <laughs> well, padel is the sport that you are. No, no, my sport is padel. Okay, but here is padel. Okay, okay. After that, they told me that they are going to create the registry, but which is the name? PPR was already taken. <coughs> so well, they decided to create padel coaches registry, and for me, it's of course a honor to. I feel honored to be part of this project because this uh, organization is international and I want my sport to be international. And well, this is uh, our project and why in part I am, I am here. Well, um, this is my, my my brief presentation, I guess I have to, uh, to do it short, but um, I would like to give a present to you. We are going to make a draw with my racket, so I am, I am going to ask Christian to help me making a draw. One of you is going to, I am going to give my racket to one of you. So, we have the list. Um, I don't know. All He's very close, okay. Thank you. Enjoy it. Um, if you, I, I, 
you know, I, I tried to summarize some of the, the, the paddle world. We have many, I have many other things to tell you, but I try to summarize. So if you have any questions, I'm here. Any doubts? Uh, can you take uh, two people uh, that haven't played a racket sport before? And you have a paddle coach and a tennis coach. Which one, of, which one of these two players are going to be able to play a reasonable level of the game first? Yeah. Considering the coaches are equally good coaching. Ah, that's the point because it depends totally on that. You know, I, I, I am going to tell you something. You know, we are talking about kids or we are talking about adults. I tell you why. You know, I have four kids. Bueno, well, two of them, they are not uh, kids already, but two of them are kids. And I teach them, I teach them. You know that a father teaching their kids is not easy, but I teach them. And I use a paddle court. The balls that I use, they are eight, and uh, I started when they were seven and six. I use the paddle court, rackets from the under 10 program from tennis, and balls from the under 10 program for tennis, but inside a paddle court. Now I am asking you, what kind of sport I am teaching to them? Paddle or tennis? Yeah, we could say basic motor skills related to racket sport. I don't know, they don't know what are they playing. This is at the beginning, but if you are ask me, asking me about adults, I would say that you have to ask these people, what do you want to play? You want to play tennis? So go with Oibin. Do you want to play paddle? Come with me. No problem. I, I, I don't feel like uh, putting the, the, the situation in, who do you love more, mommy or daddy? Uh, this is not about, what do you want to do? Do you want to play paddle? This year I am going to play paddle. Okay, no problem, no problem. At the beginning, at the beginning in Argentina, especially in Argentina, many coaches um, were saying that kind of, of uh, point. Look, if you want to acquire the right techniques, start with tennis. But at the beginning, we didn't have good paddle coaches. In fact, we didn't have coaches at all in paddle. We, 99%, we were tennis coaches, not tennis players, tennis coaches playing something, some mini tennis called paddle. Later, the paddle becomes more formal and more important. But if you have a good coach and these adults or teenagers want to play paddle, teach them paddle. If they want to play tennis, teach, teach them tennis. If, if they want to, to, to become millionaire, they should play, right now they should play tennis, but they should play very good. <laughs> because if not, they could be poor guys, okay? And this is my opinion, but you know that uh, another coaches would answer another, another things about that. This is my, my opinion, because you know, I, I, I love tennis, I love paddle, I love sport, but uh, mainly I love education. And that's why I'm telling you this. this. Okay, guys, we, we 